Our reporters are looking at the many ways the coronavirus is touching our community now. We begin with News 4 Jax reporter Kelly Wiley, who's joining us live from the newest testing site. Kelly? Yet dozens of people lined up here today, near 80 people. You don't have to be 65 or up, though they are encouraging you to be that age range. Uh, you don't have to have symptoms. And many people in this community say they're grateful this is here. 80 people were tested in the Durkeyville neighborhood in Jacksonville. The free testing was a part of an initiative between the State Health Department and U of Health to reach underserved communities in Florida. Longtime Jacksonville natives like Susie Henry say this is a welcome resource. And I'm 83 years old and I am so happy that this came possible for me to take the test today because I've been trying to go on the internet and get an appointment and I've been running through things that I couldn't work through because I'm not that familiar <laughs> with the internet. According to UF Health, there are enough kits to test 2,000 people over the next several weeks. This week alone, they plan to test 200 people surrounding the Durkeyville neighborhood. They're even testing people who don't have symptoms. The health system wants those people to sign up for a research study that will use a UF developed COVID-19 test, currently not FDA approved. UF Health says researchers are trying to identify people who have the virus, but that are not showing symptoms in the hopes of guiding recommendations to lessen the impact of the outbreak and identify when officials might be able to start lifting restrictions. So I'm grateful and happy that they are here doing this today and making it convenient for people like me. And this testing will continue right here at this spot um, from on Friday. It's going to be from 9 a.m. to noon and then 1 to 5. Again, they're encouraging you to be 65 and up, but they're not going to turn you away if you're near that age range. And they're definitely not going to turn you away if you're showing any kind of symptoms. They are saying, though, you don't have to show symptoms um, to get tested. Uh, they're also, like we talked about in this piece, uh, they want to test people who don't have symptoms to be a part of this study obviously are able to opt in or opt out of that. We're going to have more information for you on newsforjax.com. Reporting live in Jacksonville, Kelly Wiley, Channel 4, The Local Station.